people, it's 4th of July, got some meat on the grill, smoking a pork butt, but we're going to go out here, do a little bit of maintenance, like you see Alicia's over there grabbing the eggs, we came up with this idea to um, mark one of the eggs and put it back in there, and we're going to see if it actually hatches, but I'm going to do some maintenance, I'm going to put y'all down in here, Yes, in here. No, not in there. Uh, maybe in there. I can clean the bottom of this thing off. Let me see if they jump, y'all. Uh, watch out. Move. Move. Let me put the camera down. There you go.
we're down here with the other crew. Hey, piggies. See, I can't really get this to stay up there. There's no chance if we get locked in there with the piggies. Trying to find a... Here we go. Alright guys, so we've been feeding the pigs out of this hog feeder, which is great. You don't have to come down here, it does everything for you. Problem is, these jokers eat all day. So, 100 pounds of food will be gone in maybe a matter of four days. So what I think I'm going to start doing... It's just feeding them once a day, not putting it in the feeder, um, and maybe putting down a few scoops, a few scoops in different spots in the pen so that they're all not, so that one pig's not kind of hogging that, hogging the food. So I'm gonna see how that works. Let's see. To the right. And I'm not giving little bitty scoops here. This is a three quart scoop that I fill up. So I'm gonna put nine quarts of food in here. See how that does them for a while. Keep it consistent. I wasn't put it in the bowl and just put it on the ground. There we go. And that's what I wanted to happen right there. I wanted the little one to be able to get away from the other two so that he could get him some food in peace. I don't know where they dug up that piece of tarp from. I need to get it out of there. pick up this do more brand hog food today usually I try to go down to Mule City um, I think there it's ground ground up and made here locally um, so, so this is what happens when you realize that the pigs are out of food on 4th of July you got to do what you got to do make sure your animals and livestock can eat so you run out and get what you can get and plan better next time at least that's the plan. Uh, I was on the wrong end. Mm. There we go. They're still eating. And like I said, I put down three different piles of food. Three different pigs. Hopefully, everybody gets their fair share. He's wandered off onto this pile. Let me see if I can let them know there's another pile over here. Eep, 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 eep. They don't care. They're like, we eating right now. I'm going to go out here before Alicia tries to leave. We're supposed to be um, clipping some of this grape vine. thought somebody took the... Uh, I call it the steak pounder. Took it back to the shed. 
Man, that thing heavy to walk through. All right. At least it's out here picking away. What you got, girl? Some maters? Cucumber. Some peas. You have your thumb that got uh, didn't do well, but then you have plenty that it's okay. That one stayed on too long. Cucumbers, tomatoes. Gotcha. Squash. Some squash. So we'll it you ain't got no hidden uh, zucchini still. Well, I haven't got down to the zucchini. Yet. What's these? Uh. Oh, the corn. These are. If you want to look at, let's look at one. I think they're ready. Ready for what? So, harvest. So. What you look for is this brown that's showing you that the, it's done, like feeding it. Um, oh wow, so it's a corn in there, yeah, so corn. You just break it down. So this one. No, no, don't break you it You can peek at it, you want to No, you're always peeking at something. I think it's ready. That's, you probably try to peek at them tomatoes and scratch it back and see what the inside looks like. Look at it. I think that one's ready. And if you come around here, you'll see another nice brown one. Okay, so we got a few that got two on them. Yeah, look at that one. Some of these. I don't know if that's ready. It's smaller, but it might be about ready. Oh, in to... here, this is the one I was talking about. This one. Gotcha. See how brown it is? And that's what they say when it gets brown on the uh -huh. end. You're going to have to show me this. Well, <laughs> why are you so scared of me harvesting it? I just want to make sure it's ready. We'll give it a little more time then. What's this up here at the top? Corn seeds? Oh, I'm sorry. No, corn seeds don't look like that. It's some kind of seed. Sure. It's something hanging. It is. Anybody know what these are at the top of the end of your corn stalks? Let us know. <laughs> we could Google with the best of them, but we like to interact with our uh, with our community. All right. It sure uh, is hot. Let's uh, get this tea post pounded in on the other side of this summit. This summit uh, grapevine. And then we'll prune off some stuff on the bottom. I got to open here, so I think I need to clean it and cover it up. It's burning. Is, what does that mean? You're about to go in the house. I mean, I'll wait, but I don't want to get nothing in it. That sounds like some on AJ. You don't see it. I see that little scrape. I'll be getting all to kind it's of tore up out though. here. That's what a skin scrape is. What you talking about? It's open, though. It's open, though. I ain't trying to... Go back. I'm gonna come right. They said they turn brown, they dry out, and that's when you open it and it be black beans. Guys, we're over here actually doing some maintenance on our on our um, grape vines. We cleaned this up at the bottom. I don't know when the camera cut off a second ago, but it was real bushy all the way down to the ground. We got to come in and try to clean this up a little bit. Maybe we need it, but we cleaned up this side. Took off all these kind of loose crazed um, vines. We clean up the little one over there. Uh, trying to get it to where there's one main tree part or one main vine that's coming out. Allow that to get thick. But I turned around and saw that Alicia's pole beans have made it up and found the daggone trellis. Somehow I may need some help but this guy found it and it made me realize that we also didn't finish this side. We need to put in the second the second uh, trellis, honey. Oh, dang. Look, they hooking to that one. Yeah, remember, I think you said this one you was going to do twine. Oh, I forgot. I guess. I'm going to call you forgetful for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's going to be a little bit more hard for us, a little bit harder for us. Um, just because I know for sure it has grapes all over the place. Look at that. I'm looking at them right here. Farmer, come this way. Tell me what I could cut off on this guy. What can we cut off on this one? I see oh, grapes. Oh, I see grapes down there. Yeah, it's a lot of grapes. We're going to have to wait for this one. This one is good. Okay. Is that going to burst? Stop trying to live in here. These nice grapes up here. Look at this. We're going to have to put a pole. Dang, look at that. That thing is thick. Look at all that. We're going to have to burst. <laughs> All right, guys. This thing has so many grapes on it that we think we're just gonna let <laughs> we're just gonna let this season go by, and then we'll prune it. If y'all look in here, we should have a great harvest this year. Look at all that. I don't know if y'all can see all the grapes in there. 
as I'm moving my hands through. Look at that. All down in there, all back in behind there. And this is really the, uh, I call this the four side. Look at that. All those grapes. I feel like I always see more grapes on this side. Look at that. Tops all down here, all within there, all along this fence line. The grapes are hidden up under there, all up under here. So we might just let this one, we might have to let this one go. Look at this side over here. Cluster, 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 cluster. All up under there. Clusters. So it does have a nice, healthy uh, vine on it already. Um, see, I'll show y'all what we're talking about. So we did come in and kind of prune this one a little bit to where I think it's just two, two stems or two stalks going up. But this is what we want. We want that one healthy, strong vine. Um, this one has a couple going up. They're not as thick, but um, we want to make sure we do a whole lot better when it comes to these guys. Um, so there we have it. That was our maintenance, our little walk around of the garden. Uh, red tomatoes out of that one. Oh, wait a minute, I got some peppers in here. Yeah, a lot of them. I'm about to, I'm about to pull, harvest a lot of those and make a bunch of... Um... Give them, um, give them till, give them till Thursday. I'm gonna order the, uh, the vinegar pepper shakers that I like to eat with greens and stuff. I thought I ordered them, but I didn't. Ooh. But squash, well, look at that giant zucchini in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot we even we got more corn over here. So we're doing pretty good. I would probably let me let me let me throw my two cents out there real quick, y'all. With this corn, we probably could cut it in half and then cut the halves in half. And freeze them. I think they call them nibblers or something like that when you get them out the grocery store. Where it's not the, the full ear yet. But um, I almost want to come out here and prune these watermelon vines as well. Especially the ones that's long like this. And there's no, um, there's no fruit coming off of it. But then every time I say that, I look out to something like this. And you got two coming off of this vine. And this is really maybe three, maybe four. All right, everybody. We're about to get out of this daggone heat. Um, Alicia's doing some last minute, kind of looking and fixing on stuff. We got our harvest. We did what we're going to do with these grapes for now. Alicia wants me to get some, um, either some compost or some common or something to put in here. She's going to fill this whole bed up with, um, some sort of lettuce. That last spring mix lettuce that we had had a real strong kind of earthy taste to it. Um, we ate a few salads out of it, but it wasn't really to our preference. We didn't really like it. So we went ahead and pulled them up. We still have plenty of season left for us to get something in the ground that um, we actually like to eat. So that's it. That's all I have for you for right now. I need to go up here. And check on uh, check on my Boston butt that's smoking. Y'all please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all come back now, you hear?